Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Sassy Dassy and I'm here with a slightly a rant. No, it's a rant video. And it's dealing with being respectful of married couples. Okay, I don't know. I do not like this type of attention. I do not like being in these type of situations because they're really freaking awkward for me because I don't like, you know, feeling like I'm leading anybody on where you feel comfortable enough to try to initiate something with me. I am married. This past, on the 26th of May, I actually celebrated nine years with my husband. Um, very happy. And it just seems, it's so disrespectful. Okay. Story time. <laughs> Little situation happened. I like just went into the gas station. Now I'm masked up. So you probably see this. Okay. This is probably what you see because I have my mask on. Went into a gas station and this man was just really, and I kind of always, I don't have a mean mug on my face. I'm very kind of polite anyway. You know, even under my mask, I will smile. Like if I see somebody walk by, I, be, I smile, even though you can't see it, but you can kind of probably see it in my eyes. But just off the bat, this guy was like really, 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 really cringy. And off the bat, I was giving him like, if you stare, it's like, don't even, don't even come my way. Don't say nothing to me. There's no need for you to be saying anything to me. So don't even bother. And, but he did. He did, and I was not polite at all. And I was just like, I said, no, thank you. He was like, oh, can I get that number? But no, thank you. He was like, oh, I like your ring. Now, <clears throat> you see I got a ring on my finger. Why would you still try to engage? See, you're off the back right there, and it really, really pisses me off and everything because I respect my husband completely. But if you see that I got a ring on my finger, still don't don't try to engage in nothing with me. That's just showing me what type of human being you are. If you will still, if you will compliment me on my ring, this ain't no promise ring. If you will compliment me, and even if it was, if I'm telling you that I'm not interested, do not engage in no kind of a conversation or anything with me or whatever, whatever, when you know that I'm involved with somebody. And if I'm telling you no, thank you, just take that as it is. But what I feel in my bone marrow that a lot of times men's egos be hurt or injured whenever they get rejected from somebody and just move on so he proceeded and i was like no thank you and i proceeded to walk out the gas station or whatever after getting through paying in my gas and he was like f you you i am you f, let me get the verbiage right f you nobody wanted you anyway well you sure wanted me when you felt like you probably had a chance all right, in your head, you felt like you had a chance and everything. And it's just an uncomfortable situation because where I, how I'm coming from it is, I'm like, there was nothing that I did that gave you the impression that you even had a chance. You are just a no good type of person. You know what I'm saying? You're just a no good type of man that you feel like that would have been like the biggest score for you to take a married woman away from her. Never. Okay, like, but this, I want to hear from you guys because I see stuff like this happening and it has happened to me and it has happened to my husband. Like I be in the car and he'll go into the gas station to get me like something to drink or something like that. And he'd be like, man, this woman just hit on me, blah, blah, blah. And everything. And it, it like, it makes him feel uncomfortable. It makes me feel uncomfortable because I'm just like, why would you even engage? And you see that. Why would you still even engage? It's just letting me know what type of person you really are. So please, down in the comments, please give me your thoughts and everything about that because I would love to hear from you guys because it's it's not, it's not, I don't look at it as, and I know people that look at it as like a turn on, like, ooh, girl, I still, no, I don't, no, I don't need no validation from you. I get validation from my husband. 
that I am a catch. I don't need no validation from nobody else in, in the gas station or anything like that. But please, down in the comments, comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys, your thoughts, your concerns about this. What you think the, is going through these men's minds. I would love to hear from you. But that is all that I had for you guys today. I just had to tell you this because this happened like a couple of days ago. And it, it, it rubbed me so wrong. I was pissed off at myself because I was like, damn, did I, you know, did I give him some kind of, of impression or something like that and then i had to think back and be like no sassy dassy he's just a creep so but that's all that i have for you guys today i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day i hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and i will see you guys next time bye